Welcome to the first installment of the Thursday Throwdown, a video series that every other week will feature me on Thursday throwing down about something pertaining to professional wrestling, usually bordering on the stupid. And I've got a whopper of a topic today. Apparently earlier this week, former WWE makeup artist Stella Kay, who cares, but makeup artist to the stars, and she used to work for the company, and da 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 went on her little soapbox rant talking about the inequity of pay between women and men in WWE, and talking about, among other things, that as the world becomes more socially aware, she wonders if WWE will ever address equal pay for women. They risk their lives and bodies just the same to make substantially less. In response to a fan that said that they just don't draw as much as the men do, she says, have they truly ever been given an equal opportunity to do these things? Then she points out that the top male in WWE in 2017 reportedly made around $12 million, and the top female, which is reportedly Nikki Bella, made about $400,000. And then she closes it all out by talking about this. Imagine defending that women should be paid less for the same job for any reason. My only response will be internal laughter. And see, this is the type of bullshit that we're talking about here. This is the type of delusional crap that people like this on a topic that they clearly don't understand and don't grasp should shut the hell up! You want to know why the women in WWE don't get as much as the men and more importantly don't deserve as much as the men? The simple truth of the matter is because they don't deserve it. It isn't merited, it isn't justified, and it isn't called for. When the majority of the talent in the business is male, and the majority of the fan base is male, inherently the business is fundamentally going to skew male because that's how it's always gone. That's not to say that women haven't been an important part of the business and that there isn't a large sizable segment of the fan base that is female, but ultimately it is the man's dollar that makes the wrestling business go no matter what anybody tries to say. Whether it's any of you foo-foo feminazis that want to sit there and poo-poo me or any of the guys that thinks being a male feminazi is going to help you get laid. Ding dong dumb dicks, it's not. The truth of the matter is, it's not the same. To sit there and say they risk their lives and bodies just the same to make substantially less is complete and total horse shit. A Charlotte Flair, a Sasha Banks, a Becky Lynch is not risking their body in so many ways as consistently as somebody like a Roman Reigns or a Seth Rollins, especially when you look at the length of matches, the ferocity of the matches, the styles of matches, the stipulations of the matches, the extreme crap that they do in the matches. There is just no comparison. So that whole argument right there is crap. As far as have they truly ever been given an equal opportunity to do these things, did you ever think that maybe there's a reason that they're not, and even when they are, it ultimately under delivers, like for the past couple of years, we've heard about this whole women's revolution and blah, 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 and you notice how the WWE doesn't go out of its way each and every single week to make sure it gives one of the major crossover segments to the women? Could that be in part because they're just not interesting the audience enough? Could it just be that they're not good enough? Could it be that they're not talented enough, that they're not over enough? enough and that they don't draw enough to justify that position when you talk about the top male versus the top female let's just say the top male was Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar has leverage due to his time in UFC being the former top guy in WWE so when he comes back it's about leverage he could get negotiate himself a significantly sweeter deal than the vast majority of the roster because he doesn't need the WWE the WWE wanted and needed him so when you're talking about a business impact, even though to me it's been dwindling over the past couple of years, the business impact of somebody like a Brock Lesnar compared to somebody, again, like a Charlotte Flair or an Asuka, there is no comparison. Absolutely no comparison whatsoever. It will be similar to when a Ronda Rousey eventually comes around to joining WWE. From day one, from the jump, she is going to be making, I'm sure, significantly more than any other female on the roster. Why is that? Because she has more leverage. She has more star power. She will have the ability to draw more interest and more people in and make the company more money. So that's why she would get paid two to three times what a frickin' Nick Nikki Bella does. It's obvious. Like this whole thing of it's equal pay for equal work. Well, in professional wrestling between the men and the women, it's not equal work. So they do not deserve equal pay. And this is coming from somebody in the business world like me at my job 
There are other people in my position because of my lack of length of time in the company and other people, both male and female, at the same level as me that make significantly more than me as they should because they've been there 15 to 20 damn years where I've been there two and a half and without a college degree and some of them have them, male and female. That's not racist. That's not sexist. That's the way it fucking should work. We are in theory doing the same work. And even when it comes to year-end performance reviews, when I rank higher, that might mean I'm better at my job. But ultimately, they have been there a lot longer. So that is the way the world works. And when it comes to business and when it comes to somebody like the WWE, it's about who's going to butter the bread, who's going to bring home the most bacon, and easily it's going to be the guys. Because you always have an inherent challenge with pushing women to the top because how many men are going to be caught dead as wrestling fans wearing women's merchandise? Whether it's Sasha, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Bailey doesn't matter. You'll have a, a segment of the population. You'll have some that do. But the vast majority of guys are like me probably would never get caught dead wearing a woman on their shirt as a wrestling shirt. So they're never going to make the same type of money no matter how many opportunities you give them. And maybe, just maybe, if the women in WWE wanted to get paid more, maybe, oh, I don't know, they should be better at their job because even now when we talk about this revolution and the talent supposedly better, I can't tell you how many stinkers and clunkers of matches that I freaking watch. And yes, the guys have them too, but the guys have far more better matches than the freaking women do. I can't believe somebody would sit there and sit there and try to compare somebody like, or let's say a John Cena. A John Cena who's been the top guy and the top merch seller the top needle mover for the company for over a decade. No shit he's going to get paid significantly more than his Total Divas, Total Bellas, fiance, Nikki Bella. And that's the way it should work. This is not about gender. This is about business and money, you stupid bitch. Maybe all that makeup you've been applying to the stars all these years has seeped into your mind and warped it. When you talk about the recent controversy between Mark Wahlberg and Michelle Williams. In an ideal world, they both came back to reshoot. Should Mark Wahlberg have gotten $1.5 million to do the reshoot for that movie where Michelle Williams got $1,000? No. But is Mark Wahlberg a bigger star and going to draw in more revenue than a Michelle Williams? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. So as a result, he is inherently going to get paid more, and that's just tough shit. And furthermore, if you want to be mad about anybody for Michelle Williams, maybe blame her for being stupid enough to agree to do reshoots for $1,000 and then knock her agents for not getting her more damn money. Don't fault Mark Wahlberg, the jerk that he is, for taking care of himself and getting additional money to redo the same work he had already done. This is insane. This comes out of this whole myth that because of gender and gender alone, women inherently make less than men. And that is such an inherently flawed and ridiculous argument that lacks so much of the context that is needed in order to fully understand a very, very complex issue. And for somebody to sit here and say that the women do the same crap as the men and deserve the same pay as the men is absolutely completely ridiculous because if we use this logic and let's keep it within house, within the sausage fest, Kurt Hawkins should make the same amount of money as Roman Reigns. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We're going to have a communal farm of wrestling now to go with Ryback's idea that everybody should get the same pay no matter what they are, no matter what spot they are on the card. Then why would you ever care to get any better? Why would it matter if you're at the top when you're getting paid the same amount to completely, totally suck? That makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. Kurt Hawkins has a role. But if Kurt Hawkins went away tomorrow, it would not matter to WWE if Roman Reigns or a Seth Rollins or somebody else and AJ Styles went away from WWE tomorrow. That would sting. That would hurt. The company would move on. But there would be an impact. There's no impact if a Kurt Hawkins go away. Therefore, they shouldn't make the same, especially if he's not selling as much merch as this guy, this guy, this guy, and that guy. That's just stupid. And then the whole complaint talking about how the men in NXT are getting paid more than the women of NXT. Well, you think back to somebody like a Hideo Itami or a Samoa Joe or somebody. These guys had years of exposure in major wrestling companies throughout the world. They had more experience. They had more leverage. 
They had more that they brought to the table, more potential drawing power. So they definitely should be making more than some random chick off the independent scene that hardly everybody knows who the hell it is. I mean, think about how stupid this is. This bitch is basically advocating for Dana Brooke to take this, make the same money as AJ Styles. No, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. If the women want to get paid more, that is a fair question. To say that they deserve equal pay just because they deserve equal pay is absolutely and completely delusional crap and completely and totally ridiculous. And anybody that suggests it should be ashamed of themselves. How stupid! When women can go out there and actually carry a show, when women can go out there and actually sell merchandise at a similar level to the men, when they can draw the ratings consistently in WWE today at the same or better levels than anybody else on the man's roster, when they can fill the live arenas with more of their fans than anybody else, then we can start talking. Until then, people like Stella K, K with their bitter grapes and their lack of basic business understanding should do everybody a favor, shut the hell up. This is stupid. Ultimately, the men in WWE get paid more because that's how it is. Because that's how it should be. Because that's how it works from a business standpoint. Like it or not, doesn't matter. That's the way it always has been, and that's the way it will continue to be. And from a business standpoint, it makes all the freaking logical sense in the world.